Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Mary Goret Munyala and I'm the most frugal mom in the 254. Remember on this channel we only share matters, minimalism, frugality and simple living. I'm a strong believer in simplicity, in just making things workable and not stressing myself out. And not stressing myself out. So today guys, I would want us to talk about uh, our payday routine, our budgeting. Uh, actually, I don't even have any idea, so I want you to comment down below in the comment section and tell me what uh, budgeting apps you are using that are actually helping you during these tough times. Uh, inflation is here with us and we don't even know when it will come to an end. It's like our prices are on an, an upward trajectory and it might go higher than it already is. And this means that we have to review, replan our budgets and everything. We have to be more frugal. We have to learn. We have to keep on saving coins here and there because now we are spending money that we didn't plan. And unfortunately, our salaries are not going up. They're the same salaries we were earning in January. We are earning the same salary in June. But the prices of food commodities have actually doubled. And we have to figure out how we are actually going to survive. Are we really going to plunge? Are we going to still enjoy the holidays that we had planned from the beginning of the year? Are we still going to travel the way we had actually planned from the beginning of the year? Are we going to save for our emergency funds the way we had planned? Because I remember those were some of the goals we were having from the beginning of the year that by the end of the year we were going to have this figure as an emergency fund. We were going to have this figure as a sinking fund. We were actually going to take our holidays. We were going to take our road trips. We were going to do all those things. Are, st are they still doable? Remember that prices have gone up, things have doubled, and it's becoming very difficult. So I want us to share ideas. What are you actually doing different that is making all this money to be enough for you and your family at this difficult time? So today I would just want us to, I would want to go through my payday routine. It's a very small routine. It just actually has only four points. But maybe it would uh, help someone or it might, you, you might see loops in my payday routine and you'd want to maybe correct me or we keep on learning and we learn from each other. One thing I love is budgeting. We have to budget. We cannot run away from budgets. Though my budget has not been working lately because I was still working with the budget I made in the beginning of the year and it was supposed to I was supposed to use it until the mid of the year, then I review it. So I really want to review my budget because it's no longer working. The money I had set aside for use is no longer enough. So this means that I maybe have to cut on my savings. I had to have to cut on my investments. For me to continue being afloat but then am i even being able to save on the smallest things possible or i'm still just um spending money that i actually don't have so one of the things i do during payday is number one to confirm the amount of money that is hitting my account sometimes we get to subscribe to so many things and sometimes we don't even realize when we are losing money from our accounts or maybe banks are starting to have extra charges that we did not anticipate so it's very important to check for that so that is my payday routine one i have to check whether i'm having extra charges on my account or anything like that number two is to go through my budget have i gone through my budget have i reviewed my budget is my budget still working those are that's point number two i have to check my expense for the previous month did i spend overboard or did i spend less did i save somewhere or not then number four i have to still um automate okay this one is already automated like for every month that is my savings my my investment money and my my debt debt repayment i have loans that i'm repaying so that i make sure that those ones are already automated so that I don't have now to feel the pinch of getting money off for those things. So I just make sure that they are automated, yes. But I just now go back to, like, for my loan. I'm paying a circle loan. And sometimes it's never updated. So it's still my duty to go and check whether it's updated. Yes, yes, my money will be deducted from my bank to the circle. But sometimes they don't update. There is a time I went and I realized that my loans were in a, in, in um 
I mean, they were not well updated, updated. Like, I've paid for this amount of time. I know my balance should be this. But when I went back, I got that my balance was higher. So we had now to sit down and go through the whole statement and check because I was actually remitting my money, but it was not being updated. So that is something that you have to do. If someone is lending you money, kindly do it. It also happened to one of my friends recently. She had a loan with a, a, a Shylock or a microfinance that she was paying by the time she finished paying during the duration that she had been given she realized that they was she was still owing the the microfinance or the shylock more money so it's your responsibility the moment don't just sit back and say oh i've automated and everything is fine no anytime it's automated it's paid always go back and make sure that the money is actually deducted very well and that you are not having uh extra charges or extra balances on your loans then number five we have micro bills micro bills these are bills that are not like big bills or anything like when you have to pack for pay for things like parking or you want to pay for those small small subscriptions or maybe you're crossing the ferry you need to pay for it or for my case here i have to buy water and do small things like those ones you see these are not big bills it's very small money, like 120, 100, 150. But then you realize that it actually uh, adds up to a lot of money at the end of the day. So you have to keep your micro bills in check and make sure that uh, they're not going above what you had planned to spend or something like that. And finally, of course, you have to go to the market to buy uh, your groceries, shop in the market. <laughs> things are becoming too expensive and you cannot afford to spend extra on other things and when you're buying make sure you shop around and look for the cheapest prices uh yesterday i had to buy milk from uh, our shops here and i actually bought it at 80 shillings it pinched me because i know at neighbors i would get the same milk at 60 bob that's a uh, 20 bob extra so can you imagine if i'm buying two packets per day that is 40 bob extra and if i do that for seven days and a week that's 7 times 40, that is a whole 280 shillings. If I multiply it by 4 to give me a month, that would be a lot of money I've spent extra on milk. So make sure that you counter check the prices, you know who is having the best offers before you buy anything. Uh, I wish you all the best in your budgeting, on your pay, payday routine, and I hope to see you soon.